from my heart and from my hand. Why don't people understand my intention? So today is a good day. It's the weekend. It's a beautiful day. And finally, the shell has arrived. So really pleased with how this has turned out. You can see we went for a tweed grey with a gloss black roof. Um, it's come up really nice. The first job this morning is to get it off the trailer and into the workshop. now we've got it in the workshop and on the stand we can take a closer look so tweed gray with a black gloss black roof and um, we're probably going to put a mulberry interior in this but I'm really pleased with how this has uh, turned out if you remember the boot floor was completely shot so this is all new looks fantastic very nice nice color so there's a couple of practical things to do before I actually put the subframe in because um, it makes it much easier if you put the fuel lines and the brake lines in underneath the car first before you put the subframes in purely because they actually wrap around and under the subframe and it can be a bit of a pig to do if you don't do that at first. Then I'm going to put the, uh, the rubbers on the frame. Uh, again, purely practical standpoint because when you're climbing in and out these edges can be quite sharp so it makes sense to actually put the rubbers on these first then we need to do the soundproofing now i know it's quite popular in the mini community to use silent coat but i've been using dynamat for years uh, i doubt that there's any difference in terms of quality but what i do find with dynamat is they have a much larger range of different thicknesses of materials particularly when it comes to the acoustics uh, side of things so I'm going to be using a six millimeter uh, sound coat as the second coat to the actual dynamat which is for the vibration uh, in the panels as well so um, actually on the dyna liner they even do a version where the final finish looks like a carpet but Given that we're going for a mulberry interior, I didn't go in that direction. So as I said, we'll use six millimeter on this. And then we have to look at the left hand drive configurations. If you remember from previous videos, we need to look at the box and how that connects to the brake cylinder up front here, as well as reversing the uh, washer wipers as well. So uh, a lot of things to be cracking on with. Yeah, so on closer inspection, the, the actual bitumen soundproofing layer that was put in by the factory, because this is a 96 model, is still in uh, pretty good condition. So there's really no need for me to do the first layer of soundproofing for the floor. So I'm just going to shift immediately to doing the dyna liner and apply that. What I will do, though, is put dynamite vibrations uh, panels on the seat bikes and on the side panels because it's not good enough. Uh, from what the factory did so but the floor yeah why change it it seems fine so vibration and acoustic layer now in see here bulkhead fitted and also fitted vibration on the back and then on top of the factory bitumen fitted an acoustic layer and a couple of Dynamats on the front there just to stop resonance from the wheel wells. So that's the first basic stuff done. Uh, when I was moving around the car, I did notice that uh, even though this was done by a professional sprayer, uh, not sure if you can see this, but there is a run here. 
and he's going to have to, uh, when the paint's hardened further, he's going to have to take care of that and buff that out. But that's the only one that I found. The rest of it uh, is looking uh, fantastic. So you might recall from a previous video that uh, this was a left-hand drive model that we're working with, and you have this additional assembly for the brakes because the master cylinder at the front of the car does not change its side. So we need this bar to run across and we have to get it basically inside this hole and then the leverage needs to go through this to connect to the master cylinder itself. So it's, it's quite awkward because it's in one piece and there's not a lot of space, but uh, let's give it a shot. So that's it, uh, test fit done, looks like uh, the theory of where this bar went on left hand drives is correct, so just tested some of the clearances to make sure it played out the way I thought it would. And you can see here clearance is good and the bar actually connects to the lever here through the bulkhead. Um, so before I pinch everything up, obviously I still need to put the plates on here for the engine steady mount. Um, but as I said, I was just testing the uh, fitment theory. I wanted to show you on the later shells, these bodies were actually drilled for both left and right hand side. And the conversion is pretty straightforward because all the drillings are already in place. You literally uh, flip one side to the other with actually very few new or additional components. For the washer wiper, for example, it uses exactly the same motor, which would normally bounce here on the right-hand drive, and you flip it over, and it bolts onto the side of the master cylinder on this side. So we have this additional bracket here for the motor to actually slide into. And then uh, there's no adjustment of the roller wheel for the wiper motors because you've got both holes drilled already. So rather than poking through the first one, they poke through the second one. So if you check out the uh, donor card, now this is a right-hand drive and I've mocked it up here so you can see. So this is the right-hand drive and it feeds through and goes into the second mount here. On left-hand drives, the motor basically attaches to the side of the brake cylinder. 
there's no need for a different running for the drive for the washer motors because just turning it round, they already fit into the secondary hole here. So a relatively straightforward solution. Again, quite clever that Mini manages to get away with using so many of the same components without redesigning too much for left-hand drives. Okay, that's it for today. I think the next big job is actually going to be putting the subframes in. Now we've done the test fit for the brakes. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Really appreciate the feedback and the views. And stay safe and look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.